LeBron James and JJ Redix. They launched their new podcast called Mind the Game. Damn, it seems like everyone is doing a podcast nowadays. But anyway, Stephen A. Smith, he gonna give his start on their first podcast. You know, Stephen A. Smith, he have a lot of knowledge in the sports world, especially basketball as well. So I am very interested to hear what Stephen A. Smith have to say about LeBron James and JJ Redick's first episode of their podcast. And also, Dr. Umar Johnson going to time in as well. Dr. Umar Johnson? Yes, he going to time in as well. And you're going to know all about it in this video. But go, let's go ahead and check out Stephen A. Smith, what he have to say about their first podcast. Let's check it out. Welcome back to the Stephen A. Smith Show right here over the digital airwaves of YouTube. On Monday, I told you about the launch of LeBron James and J.J. Reddick's new podcast called Mind the Game. Well, the first episode is out, and I've got some thoughts on their discussions on players that have had the biggest impact on the game of basketball. Before I do, take a listen to this. Steph and Allen Iverson are the two biggest influential guys in our game since since I've been watching and covering it, you know. One, they're 6'3", 6'4", if you want to. Steph's not 6'4". If you want <laughs> if you want to look on the back of a basketball card, you know, you're, you're always a lot taller on the back of the, <laughs> the back of the basketball card. You know, Allen Iverson and Steph, they were just so relatable. And kids felt like they could be them. They were their, they were guys that was not always counted on. They were small in stature and they just def, defined the odds. So you got AI who's like unbelievable crossover, corn rolls, arm sleeve. We wear arm sleeve. Everyone wears arm sleeve now because of Allen Iverson. Mm -hmm. And he's going in the trenches, you know, laying it up over bigs, whatever the case may be. And now you have Steph who's shooting over the Empire State Building. You know, it's just like, those two are the two most influential. When you say the game, how they change the game and the kids and, and like, those are two guys that you just wanted to watch every single night. I disagree. I disagree. Me too. But respectfully, Me too. I want to say that. I Res get exactly where LeBron James is coming from in terms of AI's impact, Steph Curry's impact. You got cats out there. You can reach out and touch. You see Allen Iverson walking around. You're going like, I'm taller than him. I'm bigger than him. Maybe I could do what he could do, even though you couldn't. So it, what he was relatable in that regard. Steph Curry, okay, I don't have to be six feet six. I can't jumping out of the gym, doing all of this other stuff. No, I don't have to do that. I could just shoot the basketball. I think I could pull that off. So that relatability factor, LeBron James is absolutely right. But here's why I would challenge LeBron James and say there are two people that I would put above those two. One would be Michael Jordan, and the other would be LeBron himself. Because the day and age that we're living in right now, people are about being entrepreneurs. People are about having their own voice, taking command of their own careers or what have you. We see the Jordan brand worth over a billion dollars. We see LeBron James now in that stratosphere, not to mention the fact that LeBron James was a person that spoke his own mind. That's what we have to pay attention to. A lot of folks are following LeBron and MJ more than AI and Steph. Just pay attention and you can see it. I don't normally agree with Stephen A. Smith, but I have to agree with him a hundred and ten percent. Even even if you don't know about basketball, even if you are not a fan of basketball, if someone if a conversation strike up about basketball, I respect first and foremost. Let, let me say this: I respect LeBron James' view and what he said because everyone have. A opinion so I'm not you know I'm not saying nothing basically what he said because he have his belief and based on what he said he believe in what he believe you know what I say but if you speaking to someone that don't know about basketball don't even love basketball the first thing that gonna come to their mind when they come on to basketball is Michael Jordan and LeBron James himself. So I have to agree with Stephen A. Smith and that, you know, in this case, I don't normally agree with him, but I have to agree with him. But shout out to 
LeBron James and JJ Riddick. But guess what? Dr. Omar Johnson. This is not sitting right with Dr. Omar Johnson because Dr. Omar Johnson is going at LeBron James because LeBron James choose to sit down with a Caucasian person to start a podcast. So Dr. Omar Johnson basically is saying that a lot of brothers out here that LeBron James could have sit down with and do a podcast. You know, Dr. Omar Johnson always said, keep the money in the family. Dr. Omar Johnson is like a big uncle for the black community i mean he's like a watchdog for the black community if you get out of line if you date a white woman dr umar johnson is gonna come at you if you sit down with a caucasian person as you see with labyrinth james and jj riddix dr umar johnson is gonna come at you but LeBron James is his own big man. He sit down what we, who he want to sit down with or who he want to do a podcast with. You understand me? I say, but America is a very funny place and tricky place because I watch certain sports in America with black American participate in certain sports. Boxing, soccer, we call it football in Jamaica. And I see the American citizen boo the, 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 America, the next American citizen that on the field playing for America. They boo the African, the black American. They boo them, you know. The both of them are American, you know, and they boo the black American. I, 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 I celebrate the Caucasian that playing against the American, <laughs> I'm telling you. So, it's a very tricky situation. When you hear Dr. Omar Johnson is saying that LeBron James should have, you know, do this podcast with a brother. I understand where he's coming from as a black American. Because I see it with my own eyes. White American boo the black American that playing against another country. I'm telling you, I see it in my two eyes. It's amazing. I could never go against my country team because, I mean, I don't see it possible. How can I cheer against my country because of your skin color? So, this is why you have all these confusion in America. But one thing I have to say, if it was up to Dr. Omar Johnson, you wouldn't have no integration in America. Black would stick with black. Chinese would stick with Chinese. Caucasian would stick with Caucasian. West Indian would stick with West Indian. I what they want to call East Indian. If it, if it was up to Dr. Omar Johnson. But guys, it is what it is. Shout out to LeBron James and JJ Redex. Shout out to Stephen A. Smith as well. Shout out to Dr. Omar Johnson as well. He always said, no snow bunny around your ass, no puppy. He's a funny man, but he speaks some truth a lot of the time. I don't agree with everything that he said, but I agree with most of the stuff that he said. Guys, let me know what you think about this new podcast with LeBron James and JJ Radex. Thank you for watching. Have yourself a great day.